Norville's fortunate to still have many of the houses that Ellen Montgomery mentioned in her novels. Through time, Norville has lost some of its more prominent features, such as the flour mill, the Hollywood House, and Barnhill's General Store and Post Office. We'd like to show you some of the homes mentioned by Ellen Montgomery, as they were in the 1920s and 30s, and as they are today. Norville Presbyterian Church is celebrating 175 years in Norville. The present building dates from 1878 and is as impressive today as it was then. Norville United Church was built in 1853 and still serves as a viable place of worship. St. Paul's Anglican Church dates from 1845, probably one of the oldest buildings in Norville, and continues to have regular Sunday services. 485 Guelph Street. In the 1920s and 30s, this large red brick house was occupied by George Day, the local blacksmith who had his shop on the other side of Mary Street. 2 Adamson Street was built in 1907 as the Farmer's Bank, later becoming a branch of the Bank of Nova Scotia. After the flour mill was devastated by fire, commercial activity in Norville was reduced and the branch closed. The building became a butcher shop operated by Nels Robinson and patronized by Mrs. MacDonald. 3 Adamson Street was the Norville Post Office and Barnhill's General Store. It has been demolished and replaced by the Carpet Palace. 521 Guelph Street was the home of Hustler's Hardware and had gas pumps in front. It remains intact today, retaining its residential and commercial components. 10 Noble Street was built in 1870 and occupied during the 1920s and 30s by Gordon Brown, who owned the flour mill. 475 Guelph Street was built by Arthur Little in 1854 and occupied by Aaron Laidlaw during Ellen Montgomery's time in Norville. For its small size, Norville is fortunate to have three parks. Norville Park, on the site of the old Norville School and Schoolyard, is home to the Ellen Montgomery Garden, with its plaque recognizing Ellen Montgomery, and is the home of an animatic sundial, one of only seven in North America. Willow Park Ecology Center is adjacent to Norville Park and is home to the Robert Noble Tree Trail, a butterfly garden and other features that make it attractive for school tours and other educational events. Here the west branch to the credit joins the main river. McNabb Park is on the east side of Norville, provides a picnic and fishing area in the credit river for public use. It's near the site of the former flour mill. The Ellen Montgomery Museum is located in Crawford's Bakery, halfway up the hill on the east side of Norville, and is open daily except for the Christmas New Year period. Visitors can see pictures and mementos of the time Ellen Montgomery and her husband Ewan MacDonald spent in Norville.